the Action Alliance uh, said there is no faction within the party. This is as the Kenneth Udeze's leadership opined that the purported recognition of Adikunle Rufai Omoaje as a national chairman by the Independent National Electoral Commission was a first. We call that Rufai Adikunle Omoaje had on the 12th of July 2023 during a press briefing said that INEC had obeyed standing court orders thereby recognizing and upholding his leadership as the authentic chairman of the party. But Kenneth Udeze, during an interview with Kaftan TV, said that the Independent National Electoral Commission, chaired by Mahmoud Yakub, is unaware of the development, stressing that there is a subsisting judgment affirming him as the authentic leadership of the party. We remain the authentic leadership of the party. We have made, like, like I told you, they are before court of appeal. This is the document to show you that this is a record of proceedings. You cannot be in court of appeal challenging the emergence of somebody as chairman. And at the same time, you want to use some administrative recklessness to come back from the back door. It doesn't work. So as far as we are concerned, we're not really bothered because we've been used to, you know, some of the drama, political drama they want to bring into the party. We don't have faction in the party. We are working seriously to make sure that our candidates emerge and win in the upcoming governorship election. That is the stage we are now. On the issue of um, tampering with the website of the commission, that is what we call administrative recklessness. I must tell you that the national chairman of Independent National Electoral Commission is not aware of the circumstances that led to the tampering of that. Because the purported report from ADR, which they are talking, referring to, we are doctored, the same man that wrote that report, our lawyers have already taken him up to come and really tell the public how and where the National Chairman of Action Alliance agreed to relinquish his position. Is that how you relinquish a position that is protected under the law? That it doesn't work. So as far as we are concerned, we are seeing this as a normal gimmick because we are used to it. The most important thing, that's what we are waiting for. Maybe in the next three days or so, if they don't comply by retracting what they have done, then we know the next step will do it. Nothing else but to target those particular staffs in the commission who handled this issue and make sure we serve them the necessary form 48 and 49 for them to know and for them to come and tell the court why they will not obey the court order i think that is the we are now okay so are you aware that um and our field in question over allegations of being used as a tool by Mahmoud Yakubu, Chairman Independent National Electoral Commission, Udeze noted that he had been voted as a national chairman of the Action Alliance after witnessing three major transition of chairpersons in the party. <laughs> we remain the authentic leadership of the party. We have made, like, like I told you, they are before the day that most, uh, some political party worked out on him. There was an intel within us, within the IPAC, Inter-Party Advisory Council. We had intel of uh, how people have already applied themselves from the northern and southern part of Abuja coming as a group into the International Conference Center to cause problems and to start... In fact, it, it could have been a bloodlet if such a thing would be allowed to you know, happen. As, as, as political leaders, we have to meet ourselves to say, if we, if we don't you know, save the nation from collapse, this night, a lot will happen. So we looked beyond, you know, any personal interest. What we are talking about, I, I remember I made reference to Section 57 of the Electoral Act in that hall, because if you feel that you want to, um, you know, condemn the processes that have led to the election that brought us where we are today, there are processes. You have to, you have to allow the Commission to also review itself. So if people are calling me uh, a boy to INEC chairman, that, that's their own imagination. If I'm a boy to INEC chairman, I know chairman was there when somebody tampered uh, the website of the commission. So it's not left for him because what they are trying to do is to cause this affection between the leadership of Action Alliance under my leadership and the commission. And But we are wiser than them. We cannot go and start fighting the commission just like, as an institution. As long as Intel, we have the information where what is happening is coming out from. If somebody, for instance, somebody in uh, the EPL department of INEC decided to co um, cause disaffection in a party in our system, or somebody from ADR department in INEC decided to bring in problem based on his relationship with maybe the rebels that are claiming to be members of this party, I cannot blame it on the person of the INEC chairman. He has a seat where he sits, and uh, if uh, memos are being brought to him, or uh, if he's been deceived, it's left for you to let him know, see, Sir, you have been deceived. This information they gave you is not exactly what it is. So it's not left for him as the chairman of the commission to review what led to the situation. 
And what I, we believe he's not, he's a lettered man. He's a professor for Christ's sake. He should go through the document he has, and I know at the end of the day, the initial must be done. It is worthy to know that there have been series of legal battles, court appearances, appeals, court judgments, and protests between the Rufai Adekunle Omaji and Kenneth Ulezi's faction to determine who remains the authentic and legal chairman of Action Alliance Party.